We're back with Democratic Congressman Val Demings on the Judiciary Intelligence Committee. She was a House impeachment manager in that Senate trial of Donald Trump. Thanks for making the time for us. It's good to be with you, Ari. Your reaction to this latest firing, and do you see uh, a pattern that is illegitimate? Well, let me start here. You know, Maya Angelou said, when people show you who they are, believe them. And President Trump, and it looks like even long before he occupied the White House, has zero interest in transparency or oversight. We're talking about a president who believes that if he fires the person in charge of oversight, then there's no scandal. We're talking about a person who, just like he's indicated several times, if we don't do testing for COVID-19, then maybe two million people in this country will not contract COVID-19. The Senate had their opportunity during the impeachment trial to hold Donald Trump accountable and perhaps avoid a lot of that what we're seeing right now. But they either didn't have the political will, the courage or the backbone to hold him accountable. And so here we are. Yet another watchdog has been fired for doing his job, faithfully performing and executing the duties of his job, which is simply disgraceful. Uh, what can Congress do about it? Well, you know what, what a time we are having in Congress. Obviously, the president has zero respect a recognition for equal branches of government, that one government is designed to check the other branch, but we will continue to do the necessary oversight. This is one of the top issues that we have been engaged in discussions about today. And actually, since he tried to bury this story on Friday evening, and we are going to continue to find ways, as we always do, to get around the president's total disregard for the law and disregard for the office in which he holds. Uh, the president uh, has a larger pattern than even beyond the watchdogs. Of course, he has welcomed and embraced the watchdogs who have issued reports that have been critical. Uh, there was an IG report we covered extensively um, that found some problems, for example, in uh, how James Comey performed. Uh, the president liked that because uh, apparently, by his own admission, he views this as a chance to weaponize a system of government against people, uh, his, his opponents, and, and then wants to use it for his loyalists and will remove those who don't go along with it. It's the opposite of, as mentioned, the legal requirements of the watchdog. Uh, I want to play Attorney General Barr responding to something else Donald Trump has been doing. The watchdogs generally uh, don't deal with prosecution. They deal, uh, as, as you know, but reminding our viewers, with oversight. Uh, then there's the larger question of what you um, impeach the president for, the view that he was trying to pursue potentially criminal investigations of the Bidens. Uh, this has come back up with regard to Biden and Obama. Here was Attorney General Barr speaking on this. Take a look. As to President Obama and Vice President Biden, whatever their level of involvement, Based on the information I have today, I don't expect Mr. Durham's work will lead to a criminal investigation of either man. Our concern over potential criminality is focused on others. Uh, let me, I haven't had a chance to cover this yet. So I'll tell you what, I'm gonna tell viewers what I think and then I'm very curious what you think. Uh, I think this is the classic lawyerly, legalistic, sneaky way of pretending you're doing something by the book because Mr. Barr is saying, hey, we're not going there, while also with no evidence, no reason, no rationality, throwing dirt on Biden, who happens to be, of course, running for president, and Barack Obama, who we know Donald Trump has issues with. Uh, Donald Trump's had several advisors convicted, pled guilty, the rest. Barack Obama didn't. So for the attorney general appointed by Trump to walk around saying, hey, Obama's not corrupt, uh, hey, if you think Obama's corrupt, we're not going to put Obama in jail. That strikes to me like really backwards. I'm curious what you think. Do you think this statement is on the level or do you think Bill Barr is doing some sort of political thing? Uh, your views on all of it. Well, Attorney General Barr has had several opportunities to act like an attorney general. Remember, we were talking about the same man who came out with a summary of Bob Mueller's report 
that really had nothing to do with the report. It was designed to really deceive the American public. And look, Ari, it reminds me of smoke and mirrors. That's absolutely correct. I'll stand at the podium as the attorney general and say, well, there's nothing to see here. While at the same time, he is allowing the president to carry that narrative and others to carry that narrative. Remember, even in the Biden case, the president was not interested in an actual investigation. Right. It was just the announcement, remember, of the investigation. Yeah. Because if you can spin that story, the damage is done. And so I think, once again, Attorney General Barr is trying to deflect our attention while the president continues to undermine our country, undermine our nation, and continue to try to throw dirt on the previous administration yeah. and not effectively deal with what's right in front of him, the coronavirus. Right. And, and we should mention uh, one of the issues you're doing oversight on was the ousting of a watchdog at HHS, which deals with the virus response. I'm out of time, um, but inquiring minds want to know, uh, Congresswoman, is it a working fireplace behind you or no? <laughs> it's a gas fireplace. Does that count? Yeah, it counts if you can turn it on. Because <laughs> sometimes you go to, you know, you go to these, yeah. you go to historic neighborhoods or in Brooklyn and it's not, it's there, it's beautiful, but it, you can't do anything in it. No, well, we stay can, warm. remember I'm in Florida, so. Yeah, I'm not right. turning not it on turning today. It on right <laughs> um, uh, thank you for joining us. Stay, stay safe at home, of course. Congressman Val Demings, appreciate it. Hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here, or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us, and we appreciate that.